Bull Terriers are one of the cutest little dogs out there. I mean, they have kind of a weird face, but it just makes them all the cuter. Could you imagine somebody killing one of these? Could you imagine a couple constantly talking about God, being good people, killing one of these little dogs? That's what happened to take these two YouTubers and turn them into one of the most hated people in 2021 on the internet. And you've probably heard about this, so why am I bringing this up now? Because new videos have resurfaced, older videos, I should say, older videos have resurfaced that shows why this dog might have nipped someone. And it, for these guys to put this dog down, for them to put the dog down for nipping at someone, especially after what they've put the dog through, I think we can use the big M word here, at least when we talk about this with our friends. So uh, let's take a look at these new videos that have surfaced about Nikki and Dan Filippi, big YouTubers who now are under the fire for what they've done for their dog. First things first, here's their announcement. You need to know that they did do a photo shoot with the dog before putting it down. I think these guys are really obsessed with posting things and making money on the internet. You notice like dislike ratio off. In these situations, people of course will go to a past video and try to leave a comment there since the YouTuber's cutting them off. You can go back as far as you want hey guys. on this channel. They have disabled the comments on just about everything. I mean, that's, I just went back really far. Yeah, the comments are off on everything. So let's hear what they had to say. Uh, I feel um, awkward. <clears throat> just like opening this video I don't even there is no cheery way to open this video and so we're here today to, sh to share with you um what's been going on I don't know do you want to say hi I feel like I'm just like talking hi. <laughs> you notice if you watch any of her videos she's really controlling to this guy like I think this was all her I think he just basically follows her around and does whatever she says. And I think she's got an evil bone in her body. Well, I mean... I think she's manipulative. Bowser for almost a decade. And, um... He's, uh... Now she's chugging the coffee while he talks and you can hear her gulping. I can't do it. I can't do it. Basically, they tell you about how they're so sad because they had to put down the dog. How about really bad acting? Things that I don't want to forget, and I will never forget about Big Bowser. Aww. 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 Yes! Oh my god. This is the famous video everybody's talking about. It's where they're trying to put this little morsel of a snack dog in front of the big dog. And as they push the morsel of a snack dog in front of the big dog, he's shaking his head no. Like he's saying, I don't want to eat it. Don't make me eat the dog. Don't make me eat the little dog. No, no, no. I won't eat it. No. No, I won't eat that. I'm not going to bite it. Damn it, Dad. Why are you constantly trying to get me to bite things? Is it like you want me to put me down? Are you trying to put me down? I'm about to instinctually bite this little dog, and I know you're going to put me down, Dad. I can tell that's what you're doing. Are you tired of feeding me? What's going on here? It is the clips like that that really bother people. On top of what they said when they posted the fact that they did this, they showed a photo shoot and talked about how grateful they were with him. He was a mini horse, a shark, a bear, a mouse, a dinosaur, and now he's dead because you're a murderer. I don't know, I feel so, like, such a, a weird vibe from her that I just think that she's in control of everybody in her life. Like, I just feel that, I just get that vibe. The thing about the biting incident, from the information I have, if I'm wrong, please leave it in the comments is that the dog didn't even break the skin and essentially just bit at the kid because the kid had been grabbing at the dog's ears so hard that it gave the dog cauliflower ear. 
Cauliflower ears where it's like boxers get punched in the ear so many times that their ear swells up in a very strange way. Um, yeah, people are just sharing the hell out of this video, the dog bite video <laughs> that I just showed you. It's just crazy. They said Bowser had an aggressive side that reared its ugly head a few times over the years. He recently bit their son. After a lot of counsel, we decided it was time to pass peacefully on. One of the main reasons why this is bothering the internet is because they could have definitely rehomed Bowser. Uh, they could have found somebody to train Bowser. The type of bite that happened was not severe, and it's in second nature for dogs. They have to be trained, and it's really a failure. Other than in the most extreme situations, it's a failure of the dog owner to put the dog into those kind of situations. And you know this, and I know this, but let's go ahead and make our final verdict. I want you to let me know in the comments section, do you think this is cancel culture or a justified canceling is it justified or is it unjustified hype that's what i want to know in the comments i've decided this is justified our next question of cancel culture or justified canceling comes from kjp without a crystal ball and she is trying to get the network ELC that hosts the show that has the Duggar family on it canceled for hosting the show. First, let me show you what's going on. And then I truly, I, this may be a controversial question to you. I do want to know what you think. Is it cancel culture or a justified canceling? Let me know in the comments. She says, if anyone has an updated list of brands that sponsor shows on TLC, let me know. I can only find a list on free ginger from 2015. 2021 sponsors could be vastly different. TLC will only pull counting on if sponsors pull out. He's trying to get the entire show canceled, documenting a fundamentalist family. It's a question of, should TLC have to frame the family in a certain way? Or can they document the show, framing it the way the family gives them and let you make up your own mind? Are you smart enough to know what's up? Should the show be allowed to be filmed? Is it a free speech thing or not? He also says TLC is giving platforms to fundamentalists that are abusing, harming uh, women, abusing uh, disabilities, mentalists. They are profiting off of it, uh, of thousands of people lying to the public about the reality of the family's lives. So her problem is that TLC isn't being more critical while documenting, I, I guess. Then Josh Duggar's former friend implores the public to go after TLC for giving Jim Duggar a platform to recruit people into a cult. So then again, there's a little more context and if anyone has an updated list of brands, did I read that already? Yeah, I read that. Then she retweets people who are trying to spread the hashtag cancel TLC. Let me know down below. Should TLC be able to document this family's lives? Should they be expected to hold a certain perspective while doing it? And do they deserve to be canceled if they do not? And I'm not going to tell you my opinion on this one. And that's why I really need yours. I need to do a little more looking into the situation before I make up my mind. Justified canceling or cancel culture, 4.2. Let me know in the comments below. And I'm sorry to do it, but KJP is, because she's the queen of cancel culture when it comes to this part of the internet, she's part three, she's question number three. She's going after Emily D. Baker. She wants you to cancel Emily D. Baker because she says Emily got everything wrong when reporting on her lawsuit with Toddy Westbrook. So let me know justified canceling or cancel culture crazy in the comments below but hear what she says listen to her argument before we decide you know what can the emily baker stands just get the f out of my feed honestly listen you can watch whatever whatever youtuber you want to watch but these psychotic stands that constantly blow up my comments to say if you want to see good coverage on the duggars go watch this other channel just leave my feed alone you know I don't like the girl. You know I don't like her channel. If you guys want to watch her, that's fine. My opinion about her hasn't changed. She's not going to have the same kind of coverage I do. I'm not trying to be a legal expert. What I do know a lot about is this cult, and I'm not picking on this I'm not picking this topic because I'm doing it for trending topics or for purposes. I started covering this cult when I literally made no money, did and had negative revenue because of it. It's just what I've always been interested in and I'm passionate and I wanna use my platform to expose it. I actually did not go to school for journalism. I wanted to though, but I didn't. <laughs> like, you don't have to just, like, Emily Baker stands, get the fuck out of my feed. Nobody gives a shit. She's a lawyer, she's covering the case, great. 
She also covered my case and she got it all wrong and told y'all I was going to jail and I never <laughs> went to jail. She also told y'all that I was a, a criminal destroying evidence, which wasn't true. So I don't know how good her track record is, but she also said that. Okay, we're going to cut her off there. Now, do you think Emily Baker did a good job covering WOACB? Because I did. I didn't find her to be cited or biased. I do believe that she had an opinion, but she kept it checked and made sure to give everybody every bit of data that they needed to make up their mind either way. I have no problem in somebody sharing their own opinion, but it doesn't matter what I think. It matters more what you think in the comments below. Make sure you're nice, you're polite, you're cool to people down there because we want your opinions. We want to read them. If you're arguing with someone, we want to be able to see it so that we can take your perspective in on future episodes. Cancel culture crazy or justified canceling? Let me know down below and I'll see you in the next episode. This is Uni Rock out.